Uh, well, I am a alumni of Lutheran University. I came here as a student to study missionary aviation. So found uh, from a young age, I wanted to be all about aviation. I wanted to do something as a pilot, as a mechanic, and uh, wanted to serve God as a missionary pilot. So Lutheran University was really the best spot for me uh, at that time and learned all about aviation. I uh, went through the pilot and maintenance degree here. I uh, spent a little bit of time doing mission aviation as a, as a summer internship. Um, and really through that experience found I had a much deeper passion for, uh, for inspiring young people, uh, young men specifically, towards what godliness meant. And so uh, I was surprised by that um, and came to find out that missionary aviation was kind of what what I wanted to do for God. It wasn't necessarily what God wanted me to do, uh, which was which was jarring. Uh, I spent my life preparing for that. Um, and so I uh, graduated in 2008, and it was a much different job market than it is now for aviation. Uh, and in a roundabout way, I uh, ended up working with unmanned aircraft uh, with the military. And so uh, I was a uh, civilian contractor uh, I deployed overseas to the Middle East uh, a handful of times and worked hand in hand with the, uh, with the Army and the Marine Corps and spent some time in California as well doing training and really, uh, really got a very, very in-depth understanding of unmanned aircraft and how, uh, and how they work and, uh, and kind of what drones can offer uh, beyond the military setting. And so I uh, spent a lot of time looking at empty hillsides and mountaintops, you know, wishing I was doing that in, in the United States, doing search and rescue or, uh, or something else uh, b besides the military application. So uh, the, I, was, I was helping Letourneau uh, actually start the, uh, the UAS degree, Unmanned Aircraft Systems. And kind of advising them in, in the classes to how to, how to form the classes and, and form the degree plan, uh, and it, it it just so happened that the transition worked for me to come to Letourneau uh, and teach in that program. So uh, so that's what brought me here. I of course knew the knew the mission and the vision of Letourneau uh, it was very uh, fit very well into in, into my life and the way that I was uh, attempting to influence people. In the industry, uh, I really saw my industry in in drones as uh, as a mission field. Uh, certainly, uh, with the direction of my life going the way it did, uh, I I was all about missions and uh, still pursuing the best way to uh, point others to Christ. Uh, and I did that through uh, through hard work, uh, through being the best. Uh, pilot that I could be, no matter what I was flying, and uh, and that that made a difference and gave me some credibility among my peers. Uh, and then when they noticed my my life outside of work, uh, they wanted to know uh, more about that, and it, it opened the door to uh, to sharing uh, my life and my uh, my journey where where God had brought me. Uh, and so it was a really good uh, really good experience, and I want to be able to share that. Uh, with students, uh, share that, teach other young, young, uh, young men and women how to, uh, how to do that in their lives, uh, how to pass that on, more so than just being good at your job, but how to, uh, really how to make that shine as a light uh, that, that makes, other, makes other people notice what you're about. So, uh, the, I really like to teach professionalism uh, and doing doing good work, doing excellent work, uh, doing really your best work, uh, and it doesn't matter so much what uh, what grade you get, maybe, or what uh, what score you get on a test. But if you know the knowledge and you know how to apply it, uh, and you can be useful uh, and and do good work, then that's then that's really what what I'm interested in seeing uh, as a teacher. So uh, it's been a, it's been a it's been an amazing journey uh, finding my teaching chops, as it, as it were. Uh, I never considered myself a teacher. Uh, I always considered myself a uh, professional, a leader, maybe, uh, and, and gave my best at the job I was doing. 
Um, but I'm really finding I, I really enjoy seeing kind of the spark uh, as students come into knowledge, they, they learn something new uh, or they're faced with a challenge, something that is really difficult to, uh, to understand and comprehend. And I can give them a couple of building blocks uh, and watching them figure it out on their own is really, really my favorite part. Some of the opportunities that we've had uh, with the students is, is, able to, is able to use some of the tools that I was able to use uh, when I worked with, with Unmanned Aircraft. Uh, and uh, tools as far as the, the operations that we do. It's, it's so, uh, it, drones, using drones is such a new field, a new industry, uh, that not a lot of people know what there is uh, about, you know, what there is, what the job involves. And so I'm able to share some of those organizational tools and, uh, and, and methods that they can take on uh, and really be leaders in the industry that they go into. Uh, it, it, is, it, it is a very accessible industry, uh, very easy to get into, uh, but it's also very difficult to demonstrate your knowledge and experience in a way that, that transfers in a lot of situations. And so uh, I want my students to be, to be leaders in whatever, whatever they do, whatever uh, whatever company they work for, uh, whatever operation, whatever team they may lead. And so I really try to give them the tools that they need to, to succeed in that environment as, as leaders. Um, and so the, in, in teaching them about, about Christ and Christ-like leadership in that, uh, there's, really a lot of, uh, there's really a lot of parallels. I was just reading in, uh, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 the other day in class, uh, about uh, always being ready and always kind of having an answer uh, about uh, about the second about about Christ coming about living your life uh, in a way that's that's worthy uh, of of that and uh, and that directly applied to situational awareness uh, in the aircraft being aware of what's going on around you um, and here Paul is telling the Christians in the earlier church to do the same thing uh, with their lives and so there's a lot of ways there's a lot of parallels. To, uh, to aviation and uh, unmanned aviation, that's, that's been really neat to see. So the students uh, build, their, uh, they build their own airplanes, they start out that way, and learn to fly them, and then they learn to put an autopilot in there, uh, and then apply the technology in that way. And that's really something that sets us apart, uh, something we do a little bit differently, um, but it, it, something we do well is teach the fundamentals, and that's, that's in almost every program that I've seen here. Uh, it's teaching the fundamentals well, giving the students a good building block for, uh, for taking on in the future, and then, uh, and then just building on top of that uh, with, the, with experience and some additional knowledge. So uh, that's, what's, that's what's worked out really successfully for us. That's been, it's a lot of fun, excuse me, it's a lot of fun uh, seeing them uh, get inspired and and come up with new ideas and new ways to do things, uh, even beyond what I could what I could what I could see, uh, and so it's it's exciting to to get to to light that light that fire a little bit and uh, and be a part of their uh, be a part of their excitement about th what they want to do with their lives. Uh, I think something about my role as faculty is really the the personal involvement. Uh, with the students that I'm able to have, uh, I, I, I certainly intend uh, and work on being accessible, uh, both a, you know personally and kind of professionally with my office door open and and that sort of thing. Um, and and I've realized a, a lot of the faculty on campus do. Most most of the faculty are very accessible and uh, have a mentorship available to students. Uh, they they enter their lives more than just a teacher-student relationship, but really uh, kind of leading and discipling them, and that's been a lot different. Uh, my feedback from uh, from parents is just the, the how thankful they are that their students had some additional resource uh, to kind of walk along along with them. So uh, that's that's been a big part of, of what I what my role is and what I see my role is at Laterno.